Welcome to the Word of Victory on TV. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God will give you a Pentecost where you are. The day of Pentecost was the day that a sound came into the upper room, Acts chapter 2 verse 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. It filled all the house where they were sitting. May the Holy Spirit fill your house. May it fill your heart. May it fill your body because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. May he fill your house. May he fill your body. May he fill your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is likened to wind. So the day of Pentecost is a day when another wind blows. Say another wind blows. Say another wind blows. Every evil wind that has been blowing will be blown away and a new wind will blow. Men of the spirit know that spiritual things are likened to wind. And that when you want to be spiritually minded, you know the power of wind. There are evil winds that are sent to blow off all your investment, blow off your house, blow off your life. There are evil winds that blow sicknesses and diseases. There are evil winds that blow death and epidemics. You know, you have these waterborne diseases, airborne diseases, communicable diseases that travel in the air. When a wind blows it from one country to another, from one side of the town to another, such diseases can spread because the wind carries all that evil virus. So there are winds of sicknesses. There are winds of madness, winds of you know, being out of mind, becoming crazy. There are winds that blow blindness to people. There are winds that blow deafness. There are, there are winds that blow away one's wealth and one's property and make him poor. There are evil winds. But when the wind of the Holy Spirit blows, it blows good to you. It blows good health. It blows progress. It blows revelation. It blows prosperity. It blows favor. So may another wind blow in your life. May the wind of the Holy Spirit blow again in your life. The day of Pentecost was the day that a sound came into the upper room, Acts chapter 2 verse 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. It filled all the house where they were sitting. May the Holy Spirit fill your house. May it fill your heart. May it fill your body because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. May he fill your house. May he fill your body. May he fill your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is likened to wind. So the day of Pentecost is a day when another wind blows. Say another wind blows. Say another wind blows. Every evil wind that has been blowing will be blown away and a new wind will blow. Men of the spirit know that spiritual things are likened to wind. And that when you want to be spiritually minded, you know the power of wind. There are evil winds that are sent to blow off all your investment, blow off your house, blow off your life. When the day of Pentecost came, a sound came in suddenly into the upper room. It was sudden. Something sudden that is positive will happen to you. It was like a wind, like a sound of a mighty rushing wind. It filled the house where they were sitting. It was a tremendous experience. Now, I'd like you to see this. In John chapter 3, verse 8, he said, The Spirit bloweth where it listed, where it wants. You can't predict its movement. It's God that determines it. When God's spirit is blowing in your life, you become unpredictable in terms of your success. Your breakthrough becomes unpredictable. Something just bursts forth in your life to your own amazement and to the amazement of those that know you. They wonder, when did he suddenly become a holy person? When did he suddenly become a righteous person? When did he suddenly become a prosperous person? When did he become even a minister of God? Is Saul also among the prophets? You remember when Saul entered the company of prophets and the Holy Spirit came on him, boom, 
like a wind. He began to prophesy. And it was an amazement to all the people that knew him. Is Saul also among the prophets? They asked. So suddenly something positive will happen to you by the wind of the spirit. Your healing will be established. Your deliverance will be established. That thing that amazed the doctor about you, whether you'll be well or not, suddenly you'll become well, and the doctor too will be amazed that, well, I never expected this kind of recovery. The way your child is behaving in school will suddenly change, and it will be an amazement to his teachers. We don't know how he suddenly became very obedient, submissive, and cooperative, how he became very intelligent, wise, from the back to the front. Your performance in the place of work, in terms of meeting your target, you know, as a branch head, as a departmental head, at the review meetings, they find out that you are always at the back. But suddenly something happens by the wind of the spirit and you are brought to the front. That is what happens when the wind is at work. Look at the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 5. And this is your word of victory. Somebody listening to me. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 5. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, know how the bones grow in the womb of her that is with child even so thou knowest not the works of god who make it all as thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit god's spirit will move in your life he will bring you to another level that will be unexplainable to man your wife will suddenly become a joyful mother of many children you become a joyful father of many children suddenly your promotion will be announced open doors to higher institutions joy and liberty breakthroughs unexplainable that shall be your portion in the name of jesus christ i ask that the wind will blow into your life now in jesus name